Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And guys, as I promised you in this video, uh, we are going to learn about you know what is authentication and uh, username and password authentication. So it is having only one topic in this video. And uh, uh, let's move to the next uh, thing here. Okay, I will uh, tell you what it is actually and how it works. So guys, first of all, you should understand authentication. Okay, uh, what is authentication? What is the meaning of authentication? So guys, authentication. Okay, let me take one highlighter here. Authentication is a network security measure in which a computer user or some other network component pro proves its identity in order to gain access to network resources. So guys, situation condition whatever you want to say is very simple authentication is nothing but it is a verification of your identity on the network to ex to access network resources if you want to access any resource which is kept on the network you have to submit your username you have to submit your password you have to give your identity you have to prove your identity then only you will be able to access network resources that is known as authentication okay it is a security check very simple and uh, there are many possible authentication methods with the most common being a combination of username and password I told you we are going to see two things in this video. One is what is the definition of authentication and username and password. So this is one method which is used to gain authentication is username and password where you have to give username and password. Then only you will be getting access to network resources. And uh, there are lots of methods we can use like cards and all lots of things. But in this video, we are going to learn about only username and password. So I hope what is the definition of authentication is very clear to you guys. Authentication is a network security measure. Okay, in which a computer user or some other network component proves its identity in order to gain access. Once again, I'm just reading it to give you more clarity and uh, now you can see this is example for example uh, you know you have one server here okay and for example let me show you even i have uh, powered on one server here this is server i have one server so it, it is logged as of now if i want to log in i sh i need to give username and password to verify my identity this is username is administrator and if it is a domain then i need to uh, go to other user domain name and all yes this domain name is coming and correct password so if my username and password is correct then i will be able to log in i will be able to access resources okay for example uh, even if you want to access uh, like you know any any resource uh, on network if you have any computers as of now i don't have i'm just showing you example so it will ask you uh, to give username and password so here nothing will come because I don't have any other computer connected here okay and see step by step this is one server you have share drive here okay and the uh, user is sitting here you are here and you are saying who I am you will give username and password you are asking who, who I am now the server will ask how do I know how do I know who are you who the hell are you okay very simple so now this user will tell uh, let me give you my username and password and uh, it will have all the username and password in its database okay so it will check whether this username is matching with this password or not if that username and password is not matching as per the database this server is having uh, this user won't be able to uh, get access of network resources or authentication. Once the username and password is correct, then only it will say you are approved to access the resources. So it is one, two, three, four step process and that is known as authentication. My name is A and my password is B. So it will check whether A is 
is stored with B or not. It is it is it is belonging to A, uh, A to B or B to A. Not it will check here. If it is belonging, so it will approve. If it is not, then it will give you error. Password is not matching or something like that. So you won't be able to log in. Very simple. Okay. I hope it is very clear. What is username and password process? authentication process and what this authentication now same thing here username and password authentication in username and password authentication the username is considered public information that is username are generally available and there, there may be little effort to keep them secure or secret so you can create lots of uh, you know secret username as compared to or apart from the default username like admin or administrator okay you if you have certain very very sensitive information in that condition and apart from this this is username username is nothing but it is a public uh, information okay now password password is private the password is private information which should be carefully protected and known only to the individual user and to the network authenticated data, authentication database so the meaning of these two items is very simple here you are public for example uh, like username is pub, username will be public public information just like google everybody knows google but if i have gmail id how i mean if if i have gmail id so if i know the password then only i can uh, log in okay so that password is your private information that is top secret everybody will be knowing everybody will not know what is your password only you will be knowing so that is the difference or uh, that is the story of username and password authentication and uh, once again username is public information and password is private information which is very secure secured thing okay and uh, even network administrator do not no individual users password yes if you have five administrator here okay uh, five server so I, if I, for example i am managing active directory so i will have my password if any other user is there like he is managing db database so i won't be knowing what username and password he is using because uh, he will not share with me because i uh, there is a possibility I can, you know, destroy or uh, ma manipulate the database. So that thing he will keep secret only. And even I will keep secret because if I share password to others, they can destroy my Active Directory. So uh, this is what all about username and password authentication. So guys, here I'm just concluding this video. And uh, as I... Uh, request always to subscribe channel uh, like share and comment so once again i'm doing the same thing i will meet you in next video with some other topic like encryption and further for example let me show you i have complete uh, you know a database of uh, uh, a plus n plus certification and that is what uh, i have st started so these are the syllabus complete syllabus lots of syllabus so what i am doing here you can see here i am uh i am recording video uh sing simple very simple step by step okay like this you can see let me let me go little move little little up so th this is how i am recording so you can see here it is a network terminology where i am recording like network server client peers host computer terminal authentication i have done in this video now i will talk about encryption network directories networking standards standards organizations then i will move one by one so you can see here on top it is volume one and i have volume two also so if you want to learn uh the certification network network n plus certification so guys uh, subscribe youtube channel and i'm sure you will enjoy you will learn so i will meet you in next video till then bye bye